Well, welcome back to Mr. Smith Garage. Like every project, I kind of started this one before I started filming, uh, just kind of looking to see if I was actually going to do this. Um, and then I decided to do it. So uh, what we're doing today, got a standard chrome bumper on Jill. This is Jill, the 82 air-cooled Vanagon. Uh, 2.0 liter flat four air-cooled. Um, ended up getting a, a hitch here that hooks onto these lower hooks, which is basically the support from the frame. And then it will, uh, I'll have to drill two holes here, two holes on the bottom uh, of this bumper and um, probably clean this up a little bit, uh, paint it so that it doesn't rust anymore. Uh, and then I may end up cutting a piece of this angle iron to go on the inside of the bumper to give it a little bit more support across a longer space. Um, and just kind of tighten things up. But just wanted to kind of give you an intro and, um, and see what we can come up with. Uh, not supposed to carry too much with weight with this, uh, but I think I can do a little bit of tongue weight. I've got about a thousand, maybe 1500 pound, uh, sea trailer <laughs> that I'm trying to think if I can even pull it with this. Uh, the, the challenging part on that would be to get it in and out of the lake, <laughs> but you never know. So I, I figured I'd test it out on Jill. If, if uh, this works out okay, then um, this hitch will probably end up going on jack. So anyway, just wanted to give you a kind of an intro and we'll get working on this, pull it apart and I'll, I'll give you a couple more uh, clips in a little bit. Well, we got that bumper off. Uh, interesting, Faith T and B Plating Incorporated. Um, not bad. It's just got a little bit of rust on it. We're just gonna clean it up. We'll uh, wire wire wheel some of this stuff and then put some uh, Rust-Oleum paint on it just to keep it from rusting anymore. The outside looks pretty good, so we'll keep that as it is. And that's what we're doing next. Always wear safety glasses. <laughs> it's safe. These are safety glasses.
Okay, I'm back. Got some hardware. Um, picked up some new hardware from Ace. Uh, just went stainless so that it's a little bit nicer going back together and hopefully it won't rust as quickly. But we shall see. So what I want to do now is kind of take a, a quick measurement of where I need to put the holes on bumper so need to kind of just stick this back on so I can take some measurements I got this thing cleaned up, painted with some Rust-Oleum and keep it from rusting. I went with a flat black just because that's what most trailer hitches are, right? So what I'm going to do is put my new hardware on. And then we'll scribe into the bumper where we're going to drill these holes. the nylon nuts yet because uh, I'm just basically scoping this out to see where we want it. So I'm going to use these old ones. Okay. Now I'm going to go get a center punch. Be right back. Okay. So what I'm doing now is basically just kind of setting it up for um, to do this scribe or a punch because I'm going to need holes here and then on the bottom right here you can kind of see where that's going to come up so that's what we want to hit right now Yep, right there, right there. Perfect. Okay. Now I need to do some drilling. Okay, so I'm using a, a new bit, just a, a little eighth inch one, uh, just so I can get things started here. And it's just, you know, flip-flops with hot metal <laughs> that's a good tip trust me 
Just little metal shards, nothing, you know, nothing too horrible, right? All right, we are ready to put this back together. We got our holes pre-drilled. You know, I was just thinking, uh, I think I'm gonna need to put this together before I put the whole thing on. Otherwise I won't be able to get back here. Okay, so once again, I'm back. Uh, I'm not sure where it cut off, but same problem. GoPro 11 gets too hot, shuts itself down. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have to get an air conditioner for my garage. <laughs> anyway, okay, so we're back here. Um, I need to do some tightening of some bolts and, and then we'll hook up the, the main piece and uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to tighten these bolts before I put it on just because I don't really have very good access. Uh, let me look and see what kind of access I have in there. Yeah, I don't have very good access in there uh, once I get that on. There. Um, just because this lip comes out. So, back once again. If I knew what I was doing, it would be this would be quicker. <laughs> but this is the first time, so so I want to try and get these. So that they'll be fairly tighten these guys. Okay.
Okay, I just switched cameras. Uh, my other one got too hot. So we'll see if this helps a little bit. I'm just trying to figure out how to get. I want to keep. I don't think I need this on there for now. This one is not in, and I don't know where it's got to be to get in there. Well, I may have given up on the lower nut or bolt on that other side. I don't know. It's just not happy with me. All right, once again, don't know where it shut off. I'm working on two different GoPro cameras right now just because um, the heat. So the heat definitely is a problem for these guys. Um, got everything back on there. The rubber seal, the end caps. Not sure where where we left off or where, where you missed it. Uh, that cap should be a little bit differently in there, but it's on. So there's our hitch. Uh, we'll get a ball for it that fits for the um, the sea dews and we'll give it a shot, see if how it does. Uh, you know, the one thing I'm kind of concerned about on it is the uh, is the clutch because. I don't know. These things aren't super powerful. What do I got? 67 horsepower. So um, hoping this will work. Torqued down and everything. Um, looks pretty nice. Doesn't look too out of the ordinary. I'm just going to clean up. and I didn't do any kind of other reinforcement on the bumper, but I think that piece of steel is pretty solid. So um, I usually only have a couple hundred pounds of tongue weight on those Sea-Dews. 
um, I can balance them out too. Uh, and it's probably only 1,200 pounds, I think, for the whole trailer and both CDs full. So anyway, just want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, this was quite an endeavor. Um, shouldn't have been this hard, but anyway, uh, you know, always making it into a little bit better um, process. So I like the fact that it looks clean. It's painted. Uh, I got stainless steel hardware on there, so that's looking good. And uh, everything's back attached. Looks handy. All right. Thanks for joining. Tell all your friends. Um, if you like what we're doing, just like this. And we'll see if I can mend all these different camera shots together <laughs> from the different cameras. So thanks once again, Mr. Smith Garage.